boy, boy, boy. <laughs> Talk about a comeback and then a punch right to the nutsack. Oh, my God. The White Sox take the first game of the series against the Yankees in the, the cornfields in Iowa on the majestic field where Field of Dreams was. The movie Field of Dreams was uh, filmed 30 years ago. Great opening ceremonies. It was really cool to see Kevin Costner there. It was really cool to see, you know, hear from Ray Liotta and just see flashbacks of the movie throughout the game and even in the hour ceremony leading up to the game and the pregame. Really, really cool. And I mean, the Yankees and White Sox made history as the first teams to play in this in this place in the stadium. And it was originally supposed to happen last year, but you know, the pandemic pushed everything back a year. But that said, slugfest tonight. I mean. I, I wouldn't expect less. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> Starting for the Yankees, Andrew Heaney was nice enough to throw five innings of batting practice, uh, giving up seven earned runs, five strikeouts, three walks. He just, <laughs> he just got pounded. I mean, he hasn't found his way in the Yankees. I hope he eventually does, but, you know, thank goodness they, they, they came back when they did. But even so, saved him from a loss. But... Wandy Peralta came in after that and threw two, threw, uh, two clean innings. Joely Rodriguez threw another clean inning, and Zach Britton came in to close it out in the ninth and wind up giving up a two-run walk-off home run to Tim Anderson opposite field. Kind of had a bad feeling that was going to happen after he walked the, re the previous runner, and he just hasn't looked himself yet, honestly, Zach Britton. So uh, he's still working to find his way back from the injury, and it's a frustrating period for him, frustrating period for us. And it was a really, really exciting, um, you know, game because the Yankees scored four runs in the top of the ninth to put them up uh, eight to seven, you know, with a two-run home run for Aaron Judge and then a key walk by Joey Gallo, and then all off Liam Hendricks. The inning before that, Craig Kimball just dominated them. The inning before that, Michael Kopech dominated them. So one of the guys in the three-headed monster got hit, even though he got the win. Um, Liam Hendricks was now seven and two. Um, and, and and obviously a, a, a majestic home run from Giancarlo Stanton to drive uh, to to drive in Gallo himself to put them up eight seven and then of course the comeback in the bottom of the ninth from the White Sox close it close the game nine to eight. Judge went two for four. He had two home runs tonight. So just when we needed Judge and Stanton to be clutch, they were clutch tonight. They both had huge nights. So. Uh, even though Stanton's huge night came at the end, he was only one for five, but he had it hit the home run at the right time, perfectly timed. DJ went one for three. Guardy went two for five, also had a home run. Tyler Wade was two for four. He's been silently and just quietly very, effic very efficient. Tyler Wade is very, very efficient. Um, and the judge drove him in in his two-run home run. And like I said, Giancarlo Stanton was one for five, Wade two for four. And that was kind of the, you know, the summary of the offense for the Yankees. The pitching we went over. And it was a slugfest, I mean, between the, some of the two premier offenses in baseball. You know, and the Yankees are still missing guys. They're still missing Rizzo. They're still missing, you know, it, it, <clears throat> Gallo's not where he needs to be yet, even though he drew a key walk. But he's still, I mean, his, his you know, OPS and on-base percentage is solid, but he strikes out way too much. He's got to cut down on that. And... Um, this is what it is, but you know it's it's interesting because even before this, it had the Yankees lost. You know, I I, I, I was going to give Stanton a little bit of a hard time because he just looked a little over mad. And he hit some you know ground outs and stuff like that today, so he didn't have some of these embarrassing strikeouts that he normally has. But that's one of the differences between him and him and Judge. I mean, Judge strikes out way too much, also, but his strikeouts are generally pitches in the zone or near the zone, and a lot of times Stanton strikes out stuff that's like two feet away. And it's just a, a huge difference in the way they're, the way they're strikeouts. So, but I, nevertheless, they're both striking out way too much. But they came up clutch tonight. Unfortunately, the bullpen wasn't able to close it down, keep the lead. And then, you know, the Chicago White Sox came off with the first win. The very first win in the record books in the Iowa cornfield. So congratulations to them. I think there's two more games left in the series. So hopefully the Yankees come back, win tomorrow, win the series. You know, they could have... You know, they they lost the game tonight on Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay beat Red Sox eight to one, so at least they stayed on par with Boston. Oakland won seventeen nothing, so you know they're not really gaining ground on them in terms of wild card. But that's 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 what happened tonight. So unfortunate and a very painful, frustrating loss for the Yankees. But it was good to see some of their bats waking up, and hopefully this is a sign of things 
better things to come. But again, not I'm not surprised to see a slugfest. That lineup, now that Chicago's healthy and you have Luis Robert back and Moncada in there and just uh, Eloy Jimenez and like all these guys kind of clicking, that lineup is fearsome. and It, it really is. I mean, the top two lineup in the American League, them in Tampa Bay, and then, and then you have right there close is Houston and Oakland. So some really strong teams in the American League, but the Yankees have to show the ability to kind of hang with these teams and beat them. And obviously tonight they didn't do that. So tonight, I mean tomorrow, hopefully they come back and play better. So that's the recap. 9-8 White Sox is what it is. Got another video coming out for you tomorrow morning. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll talk to you next time.